Hey guys, this is Paul. Welcome to Common Touch of Fantasy. Today we're doing a book review. The book review is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. This is a historical fiction novel, something a little bit different than what I usually read. Like I said, it's a historical fiction novel. It's set during World War II, and it's between France and Germany, and it has to do with a French girl and a German boy that's growing up during this horrendous war. For plot, I gave this book a 4 out of 5. For characters, I gave it a 5 out of 5. For setting, I gave it a 4 out of 5. For writing, I gave it a 3 out of 5. And for heart and mind, I gave it a 4 out of 5. If you want to know more about what these mean, check out the written review. All the Light We Cannot See follows two main characters, a French blind girl and a German boy. The French blind girl is fleeing Paris with her father and an expensive gem that they are in care of from the Paris Museum. Werner is a German boy that is very scientific, that wants to better his life, so he joins the um, science school for German boys. He's very intelligent, and he learns a lot about radio transmissions. Both characters end up in St. Malo, France, and Marie Lore is helping the Allies and helping her uncle with broadcasting um, messages to the Allies. Werner's job in the German army is to try to find these rogue signals, these rogue radio transmissions. Alright, so why should you read All the Light We Cannot See? You should read this because it has very strong characterization that shows the strength of the human spirit during a backdrop of intolerance and hatred. The characters in this story are incredible. Marie Lore is someone I fell in love with from the very beginning. Her being blind, but that not stopping her, and her being precocious and intelligent, she's just an amazing character. Werner, he's just a great character as well. He is a little bit naive about things, but he has a good heart. He doesn't really understand a lot of what's going on with actual Germany and Nazis and the war and stuff, but he loves science. His main concern really is himself and his sister, and just trying to do better for them. Another reason why I should read this is because it's a narrative that strengthens the characters, and it connects the readers to them. Anthony Dower's love for the technical aspect of the war, when it, with the use of radios, is really surprisingly interesting. And also, Marie Leray has a very um, intelligent interest in oceanography, and there's a lot of that in this in this book as well. And all these technical aspects really make this book a great read. The thing that stands out the most in this book, though, is that the difference between France and Germany at the beginning of the book and at the end of the book and the uh, progression and journey that these two characters make throughout this entire book. It is just a treat to read for um, historical people. Uh, if you're interested in World War II at all, you would really enjoy this book. Um, it's great to read about how Germany was um, really poor, but then at the beginning of the war they became um, more rich, and then near the end they became... Um, poor again, and then France with them trying to stay alive and and fight this occupation. It's very interesting to me. Um, Dower's writing might not be for everyone. I didn't mind it that much, but he jumps around a lot. The entire book is split into like small sections. Um, some only last like a page, and some last more than a page. Um, some last like up to six. Each. Uh, section jump is a different point of view of a different character. At first, this was kind of off-putting, but I got used to it. But I can see why some people would not enjoy this. They would want more detail within the actual scene that's happening with that character. Also, um, there's adjectives galore in this book. Uh, he describes things that really don't need to be described, and sometimes it gets a little bit annoying. Also, the time period jumps back and forth. So it has the present with them in St. Malo and bombs are um, coming down onto the city. But then it jumps back to the past where there were kids. And then that progresses and it jumps back to the future. Then it goes back a little bit more in the past. And it's it jumps around a lot. So I just have to be warned that it does do that. Anyways, I recommend All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. It is an interesting uh, tale. And it's a great character book. Um, historical fiction that really captures the imagination and captures your your mind. Um, there's a lot of heart in this book. Come on my written review for a more detailed review. 
Um, subscribe, like, comment, and thank you for watching.